Hello, in this tutorial on C++ I want to show you the file handling. Ok, we need a new header file for that called fstream. Like that. f uh, mean file, so it is a file stream, not an IO stream. Although it's an IO stream too, but it's a file stream. Alright, uh, let's create our object, so uh, we want to read from files, so we use the if stream structure with input fi uh, uh, file stream, so if stream uh, in and uh, for example file name is uh, Hello world oh. txt this was and we don't need the mode to op how it should open the file alright and we use a similar uh, way of handle file that we did with sin so we pre uh, type in, not sin, because this was the name which we give it. If it was something else, we would wrote something else here. And then where we want to read, so create an integer va variable like int i and read to i variable. And now write out the what <coughs> the contain. So the file contained the number and i and make a new line and definitely here is our file it contains just one number for now the 42 all right and we can close the stream although this I this would do this would happen automatically the end of the program but uh, it's good to close it so in dot close so we get the close member function from the in so it is the f stream all right run the program and as you can see it uh, read that uh, <coughs> uh, number from the file <coughs> we can put a number of alright write some ne random number you can see that it I separated with white space character this <coughs> this is just the normal space, but we could use tabulator like that, and we can use uh, new lines as well, as you can see. Now, mm, make an array. So, uh, <coughs> array hmm, twenty elements should be enough, <coughs> and make the i zero and make a while loop for read so <coughs> while not although i don't uh, speak the i didn't speak this operator yet this is the logical not it means if it is true then it becomes false it is if it is false then it becomes true <coughs> so in dot uh, else it mean end of file uh, actually this is a hidden non-printable character which indicate the end of the file the while loop go uh, <coughs> through the array uh, the file and if it is find an elf character so end of file character it will jump out from this while loop Alright, we read it to the array i. 
and then increase the I and close, uh, close the code block. Alright. Oh, J. We already have a I variable. J less than I and J plus plus. Alright, uh, and write out the array j and line Alright, save it and try to run the program And as you can see it's write out all of the numbers but it's write out some random numbers because we go through uh, so we go through the array so actually make it minus one and put the increase before the region so like that and this case this so with this it will work perfectly as you can see we get all of the numbers from the hello world as you can see it is such simple to handle files although the input is one thing but we can make an output so it is off stream output file stream not input file stream as we did in the earlier uh, and out this is just the name and we have a constructor I forget to tell that although we didn't speak constructor but uh, later we will in the classes and object oriented programming alright or stream out and uh, define the name for example hello.txt this uh, file is not exist actually in my desktop but uh, the program will automatically create it if it is not exist alright uh, out we almost use it like count just without the space as you can see uh, and write out something hello world in this case a string literal and make a new line after it alright and close it it is such simple to use it now compile the program and run it it uh, doesn't do doesn't write anything to the screen because it's right to that file I open it alright here is it it's right out the text hello world it was just as simple as that okay we can uh, use for example just making some random numbers include CSD deal alright 